Smart Security, role-level security that meets the needs of any organization. With Smart Security, you get security for any fields on any page. You're not limited to chart fields, business units, set IDs, any of the traditional PeopleSoft fields. You can nominate any field on any page. It works on any 8.x or later PeopleSoft release. You do not have to wait to release 9.1 to get the chart field security you need. It works for prompts, searches, inquiries, and queries. Traditional PeopleSoft role-level security works mainly on prompts. It easily extends to any reporting solution, including Envision, Crystal, OBIE, etc. It employs context-based security, which means that you can have security on one page and off on another page. Also, a single user can have security, different security on different pages. It also allows business owners to define security without IT intervention. There's no need to run any batch processes to turn security on or off or set the values for users. It's very, very, very simple to apply or undo security changes. It's just simply the click of a button. We also provide automated tools for pre-populating security values, such as departments based on HR hierarchy, projects based on team members, etc. And finally, we, pr we provide complete auditing reporting. Let's see how a user is set up. In this case, we have two contexts, both for the user VP1. The top context is the general ledger context, and the bottom one is the AP context. The business user can define which valid values are valid for VP1 in each of the contexts in the grid below. You can use ranges. In this case, you can see that the operating unit is limited to Alberta to France. And the departments use tree nodes and single values. So you can use any of those things or any other type of operand that you wish to define the valid values for this user. In the AP context, you can see that they have a different range of departments than the GL context. Now I'll demonstrate how smart security works and how it looks for the end user. In this case, we're going to start with a search. And a search is looking for a different, a different documents. In this case, it's a voucher. So we've entered our business unit as US001. What we want to return are only those vouchers that we're able to enter and go into because they have our valid values. In this case, we have 12 vouchers, not 10,000, but 12 that have our valid values on them. Next, we'll talk about prompts. And prompts are the magnifying glasses that show you the valid values for a particular field. So in this case, you can see that VP1 in the AP context has access to departments 10,000 and 105,000. So if we go to a voucher and we deploy the department prompt, you'll see that we only see departments 10,000 to 105,000. You can only pull up those that you have access to. Next, we'll move on to inquiries. In this case, we're going to put in business unit US001. We're going to hit search. And guess what? We're going to see our same 12 vouchers. You only show the vouchers that contain secured field values, just as in the search and the prompt. The last demonstration I'm going to talk about are queries. This is the PeopleSoft query delivered tool. If a user writes a query or executes a query based on a secured table, they will only see the values that they have authorized that they're authorized to see. In this case, the query voucher security is simply looking at the PS voucher record. When you run the query or execute the query, you will only see those vouchers that you have security for. In this case, it's our same 12. This same concept can be applied and extended to any reporting solution, including but not limited to Envision, Crystal, OBIE, etc. Thanks for joining us today for this quick look at smart security. If you want a further look under the covers at the technology involved, 
please let us know and we'll set up an appointment to talk to you either in person or via a web meeting. Thank you.